All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Friday. Normally, that is Octane Friday, as you all know, where we like to kick it up a notch. And we're going to do that a little bit today, but we're going to take a little bit of a detour, given the news we had yesterday, late afternoon, the passing of Andy Fletcher, Fletch founding, co-founder of Depeche Mode. This is awful news. What a shock. Only 60 years old. Uh, And I love Depeche Mode. I'm a huge, huge Depeche Mode fan. I don't know about you. I know you're out there. Uh, And uh, it's hard to do shows like this because, you know, I could spend 40 minutes talking about Depeche Mode, but here I am trying to keep episodes somewhat short for you all. I've done Depeche Mode in the last two seasons, two and a half seasons. We're in our third season now, as you know. Uh, so there's some good stuff out there, so I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to do it justice. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is rough news. Depeche Mode, of course, where do you start with this? They're in the Hall of Fame. They sold over 100 million records. Uh, 14 studio albums, 54 singles in the UK charts. Influenced all kinds of music, from pop to rock to metal, you name it. Part of that is because the guys in the band all come from a different part of uh, musical taste. Uh, Fletch was the pop guy. He was told he says he would always say that he's the one who's totally into simple pop music. And you know, one of them was into more like country blues. There was some jazz stuff in there. I mean, they all just came together. By everything you read about them, uh, they worked well together on all the stuff that they did. Of course, uh, founding member, one of founding member Vince Clark, if you, you, you remember Vince Clark, uh, he left pretty early on. He went on to form Yaz and Erasure. Part of the conversation, though, he was uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, of course, all the ex-members were. Uh, but Yaz and Erasure, we did, a, we did a show on that just recently. Uh, but really, Fletch, uh, David Gahan, and Martin Gore... Uh, the the uh, these guys were just so good uh, putting out all this music. I cannot say it enough. My first exposure to Pesh Mode was uh, like 1985. It must have been People Are People, right? I mean, I'm in you know class of '86, so People Are People was a big deal. I just absolutely loved that. And then as I got a little bit older into college, I started playing some more of their older stuff. Thank you, Sean Murphy, for introducing me to some of their older stuff. And uh, just really have been a fan ever since. We'll talk about some of those songs. Uh, but uh, then 1990 came along. And, you know, there's, there's people who just like music casually. And then there's record store people. And the record store people crowd, you know, we're a different breed as far as that's concerned. Just hanging out in record stores and uh and flipping through and uh, waiting for new releases. I mean, uh, you know, not to age myself, but you know, it's pretty easy to get a new song nowadays, but you had to go down to a record store on a Tuesday or used to be a Friday, I think, and get that new release when it came out and hope they still had a copy. And when uh, 1990, when Violator came out, that thing was just a ton of bricks on the music world. It was so big, so huge. It just put them in the stratosphere. We could not keep that on the shelves. We were just rolling out cassette, cassette, CD, cassette, cassette, CD. It sold like mad. And why? Because it's a perfect record. It's one of the perfect records. There's not a weak song on that record. They put out that thing and it was just amazing. They did a lot of amazing work after that. I managed to get to see them several years ago. My friend Chris, we went to see him at Mohegan Sun. And uh, it was an awesome show. I'm glad we got to see him. Uh, Crazy. This is crazy. But Fletch played on all 14 of their albums, like I said. Uh, And one of the things you need to see for Depeche Mode is, if you have not seen Depeche Mode 101, this is all you need to know right here. This was just put out on Blu-ray last year, or last year, 2021. Blu-ray, right from the film. Uh, This is from their monster tour, 1989, from the Rose Bowl, their 101st performance of that tour. And it's a film of that concert, but it really focuses on their live shows and just how good they were and just how influential they were, even before Violator. All right, we're at five minutes. We're trying here. We're trying here, people. But where do we start? What are your favorite songs? Blasphemous Rumors, Stripped. First time I heard Stripped live was on the Say Anything soundtrack, if you remember that. A Question of Time, A Question of Lust. 
barrel of a gun, halo, enjoy the silence, personal Jesus, policy of truth, never let me down again, that's a favorite one right there, strange love, world in my eyes, just can't get enough, people are people, everything counts, I, I could go on and on and on, so what, what are we doing here for song of the day today, Mark, you're all over the place, I got three for you, I got three songs for you today that can maybe qualify for Octane Friday. These are ones that you can crank. You can just crank them up, and there's just a little bit of heaviness in there for you, for those of you who are looking for that today. And we'll go in chronological order. First and foremost, from 1986, Fly on the Windscreen. That might be one you guys don't know. Uh, first time I ever heard it, Miami Vice, of course. Uh, but uh, this song is pretty great, and you have to play it from the album version that has this little extra beginning intro to it. You don't always hear it on the radio. So I'm going to make sure I pull that up. There's a little bit more of the beginning that you got to hear, but Fly on the Windscreen from 86, number one. Number two, from 1997, It's No Good. This is a great song. And for a while on YouTube, early on, there was no official video. And every time I pulled it up, it was some guy in a motorcycle helmet just dancing on the side of a street like in California. I'll see if I can pull that up. But I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's a video for it now. But anyway, It's No Good, uh, that one awesome and then 2009 out of nowhere they put out this song wrong my wife sarah introduced me to that she had heard it that day on the radio and said mark you got to hear this new depeche mode song you're gonna love it this is this is your stuff right here this is our stuff and wrong we were obsessed we just played this song over 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 again and to this day when i hear it it's just the hair on the back of my neck sticks up it's so good wrong is your third choice from depeche mode today another long episode today but that's just how we roll here in the cave Octane Friday with Depeche Mode. Sad news about Andy Fletcher. Fletch, rest in peace. Depeche Mode, not going to be the same, but tell me your Depeche Mode stories. Did you see them in concert? Did you see them in the 80s? What's your favorite song? Got any stories for me? Post below. I lo You know I love to hear the stories. Uh, Richard Blade out there, you posted that on your page. I know you're a huge fan. Uh, just feeling it all around the music world today. Uh, with this sad news so check out these three songs for sure and then play some more of your favorite Depeche Mode and let me know what that is have a great day today whatever it is you're doing I hope it involves music and Depeche Mode and as usual I'll catch you on the flip side I know you can't be cause it's no good